Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Heart Tongue Family Farms. You got the Bud Man from the mighty Mississippi, home of Lock and Dam number 12. Well, I'm supposed to be at the farm at 11 o'clock. As you can see, it's 11.45. And the reason why I'm running behind is because I have this thing on a trailer behind me, as you can see. That's been sitting up at the Bellevue Farm for probably about a month or so, maybe six weeks, because we were up spraying some kind of weed, cucumber weed, I think they call it. But uh, we gotta get it down there because it's got liquid in it, and you know what happens when it freezes with liquid? Turns solid. And that'll ruin the hoses, ruin the motor, ruin everything in there. So we gotta get it down there where it's warm, cleaned out, emptied out. So that's Curtis's job today, in between doing loads. I guess we're going to the, I think Zymet farm. Nathan's probably cussing at me because I'm not there. Boy, what a gorgeous view. Hey, there's an eagle right there. Huh, baldy. Anyway, I'm on my way down there and I can only do about 50, 55 with this trailer because it's a lot of weight for my trailer uh, with the side-by-side -side on it, so, oh well. Hey, I found my hat. Look at that, Heart Tongue Family Farms. Got my heavy coat on. It was cold last night. We had six acres left to do and it probably took us an hour and an hour and a half because we had to go real slow and we could only go one way and that is frustrating. But we got that done so we're on the next farm. So we have Zymitz, Andrew, Bellevue, and then back to Preston down by Pat's place. So we're getting there. Hopefully we can get her done, but we'll see. Guess where I'm going. You'll never guess it. Hi, kitties. I am heading up to Grandma's and get buckets for everybody, I guess. Actually, I can see what time it is. So, hi, kitties. We'll see what Grandma's doing. Hi, Grandma. How you doing? What? How you doing? Well, I'm trying to get the meat sliced now, then I can package up. Yeah, she'll come back and get it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. We'll talk to you a little bit. Do you see that? I know you can't smell it, but do you see it? Roast beef, potatoes, gravy, and all the fixings. Oh my God, it smells awesome. I almost wanted to stick around. That's why I called Nathan to say, hey, I'll wait because I could eat on the way over. But now I got to go, go, go. Nathan says he needs me right away. So we're going to head down to the tractor and get going. That's going to get put inside. I only got one speed, folks. And that's the Bud Man speed. So sometimes they get mad at me because I don't go fast enough. But don't care. I'm kind of like a volunteer. So if they get on me too much I just go slower <laughs> no I don't do that one speed bud man looks pretty quiet around here right now because there's nobody here they're all over at the next farm semi there semi there oh here comes Curtis hi yeah, uh, about another 10 minutes yeah Nathan wants to be over there right now so are you gonna wait 10 minutes for it? Yeah. Okay, then I won't call your mom. Because your mom, she said she could do it, but. Okay, so you'll bring lunch. Yeah, yeah Nathan said he needs to be over there. You know Nathan. So, well, they even got my tractor running for me. Ain't that pretty sweet. Mud. Wipe my feet off. Don't want to get any more mud on my tractor than I have to. Okay, onward we go. About got another field wrapped up here. The one we started last night. We'll be headed to the next one down the road. Field is this diamonds what? Diamonds north of the house, big one or something highway? It's uh, north highway. Okay, we're at the Zymet farm. 
looks like north of the house and we got Nathan coming here with the big 7150 with the 12 roll head on it so here he comes and we're to the next field about 20 minutes later different look at terrain now it's a lot more hilly we're, gonna, we're going to use a, a traffic cop here in a little bit I think because we got two combines head next to each other that's kind of cool Father and son duel going on here. Okay, it made it to me. Grandma's lunch. Pepsi, milk, sandwich, dessert. What else we got in here? Macaroni and cheese. We look at this. Carrots, roast beef, potatoes, milk, dessert, bread, butter, macaroni and cheese. Yum, yum. Thank you, Grandma little double dump action bud bands on the grain cart filling as we're dumping efficiency it's the name of the game nowadays we gotta go one combine two combines grain cart grain cart I love when we work together like this that way everybody's in the same area. It's kind of cool. As you can tell, there's hills here too. And the Bud Man don't like hills. <laughs> yeah, I bet. We are on a hill here. Straight down. And then back up. He was pretty full, that's why we're stopping and filling up now because usually we go on the go, but it's pretty full so we had to stop and it's a bad place for me to stop because like I said down the hill rolling in the hills not doing too bad today corn standing good I got this 20 acres done then we're gonna head over there that field over there, that field's about 75 acres. There's a chance of snow tomorrow, sounds like. So we're gonna try and get this farm done. Here comes Uncle Bun, he's coming in with the new Holland. We also got Cletus back. Cletus was on the DL for the last couple weeks, so uh, there was a deer over there right there. But anyway, he was back driving truck. He was off for a couple weeks, and he's happy to be back. We're unloading over here now, so it's good to have him back too, because I get a lot of knowledge from Cletus. Okay, we're up here in the, I don't know, big farm or whatever they call it here. The Pat's coming here. What he's doing here is he's going to knock off 24 rows so that way we can bring the semi in bring it around and then face it this way so we can unload here on kind of pick up some time so that's what we're doing so he went eight eight and he'll go back more eight one more eight look at this money curtis curtis you want to catch your dad Stand back behind that and start catching stuff. Here comes Curtis. He's going to go catch uh, Pat. 
Now I'm going to sit here and do nothing, because I'm good at it. Got a semi ready to load. He'll dump on there, and then we'll load that semi up. It's a little bit cold. We're talking snow tomorrow, the next two days. Hopefully we don't get much. But they're talking somewhere in that one to three inch range. Ugh, don't like it, don't like it at all. And then we got cold weather to find it or follow it, so yeah. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. He's making a second round. He made it all the way around. Here's Bun there, he's full. Pat one jumped over there. There's a little, I don't know, probably 15 acres over there. So he's gonna tear that out. And we're just gonna go around and around and around. We got this all knocked out. That way the semis can come in like it did and get out of here, in and out, in and out. And they are four of them, four deer. And there they go back into the corn. As you can see, she's pretty dark, but we got so busy here, I ate my lunch and I forgot to eat my dessert. A spice cake with frosting. Want a bite? Can't have one. I'm eating it all. Oh, the lights are bright. I had to get out of the combine or my tractor. I gotta stretch my legs. Nathan's gonna finish loading here. Looks pretty straight. And he's gonna take off and go back that way. We got two more lines. We gotta go that way and then we go back down it. Woo! One more strip all the way over and one way we back. Then we'll have all the end rolls off, then we can keep going back this way. Finally got both combines in this field. He finished up that 15 acre piece way over there, so now we can concentrate here. So we'll really make some time now. Knocking 20 rolls at a time, 12 roll head and a 8 roll head. I gotta watch the corn stalks right on our trip. Because you gotta love when you see a lot of equipment close when your field's over 100 acres. We got a combine over there and a grain cart and a combine here. I know it's hard to see, but it's dark. But that means we're getting close. We were thinking when we started about midnight we'd get done, but what time is it? It's 9.22. We should be done by 10.30, I'm thinking. That is a good feeling. Okay, we're done, boys and girls. Look at this. I'm unloading. Nathan's unloading with the combine, so, oh shit. That was close. We are done. It is 9.38 and we are finished with this field. Too bad it wasn't six o'clock. We could start a new another one, but time to pack up and go get ready for the snow. Okay, here comes Bun with the final cart that we're gonna dump here. What are you gonna say? I'm ready for bed. <laughs> we're all ready for bed. Here comes Bun, Uncle Bun. He'll finish this one up here. We got things going on. Great job. This field is done. I'm gonna tarp my grain cart so I don't have to do it when I get back. So we can go home, watch it snow. Starting to get a little cold out too. Nathan's folding his head up so we get ready to go. Gonna be close. Still got some up in the window, I can see it. Where is Ronald at? Home in bed. Leaping probably. That's where I'm gonna be in about an hour. Okay, that's it. Last of the diamond farm. Now if I can get out of here, because it's a long ways down. Put the ladder up. And that's a wrap for this farm. Did pretty good. 2.30. Hope he's happy with her. Did my best. We're out of here. Let's go home. Hello, everyone. 
you got the bud man back here at heart tongue family farms today is like the 16th of november we got a little bit of snow on the ground not much we actually got about two inches and a lot of it melted yesterday but today it's cold it's 35 degrees and it's windy damp so but today i'm going to go up on top of the big mountain way up there and take down the electric fence take the fencer down and get ready to get that corn out of there because we have hopefully by friday saturday at the latest we start because i think take about two days to get that side out then we can bring the cows across so i don't have to worry about watering so i think the watering is going to take place maybe tomorrow after work at this time or Friday for sure I'll have to have it set up and I'll show you the rig uh, that I'll be using this year it contains a battery a generator a battery charger and some kind of a fan motion thing to keep the water turning so it doesn't freeze so I'll have to show you what I'm gonna use hopefully it works we'll find out okay I'm back up here in the hillside corn here corn over there corn at the bottom Hopefully this week we'll get up and get it, but my job is now is to take this off and this off, wind it all up, uh, take down a couple of these posts so we can get in here. Hopefully it's dry enough to do it, and then we uh, get this corn out of here. So that's the game plan, get this corn out of here. Now I gotta untie this, we'll untie it here, and then uh, start wrapping wire up. So, okay, let's go. Hi. Wind her up, boys and girls. Now we got problems. Okay, we're getting there. Slow and securely. Ah! This is quite a contraption here. They had to re-weld it because uh, the bearing went out in it. It got too heavy and I hit a post and it broke. So this is quite a convention here. I used to have to walk this and wind it up by hand. Now I just spin it. Gets it done in about a third the time. I'm down to my last string here. Getting all wrapped up and let's see if we can get the heck out of here. Wrap her up, boys. Okay, hello everyone. You got the bud man back here and uh, just went out and talked to a couple farmers here. Uh, getting ready for this weekend over here. Just got done talking to Mr. Manders. He owns this part here. It goes way back there where the timber's at. And we push this all forward. So just had a nice conversation with Mr. Manders up here. And uh, he gave us the go ahead. He says, get them all. And that's what I say, because they do a lot of damage out there to the crops and young trees and stuff. But uh, so thank you, Mr. Manders and all you farmers out there that let us hunt on land here. But yeah this is what we do we'll start over here and we push that timber all the way up over to there so but, okay i think we're pretty much set for saturday and bring on the deer hunt it's gonna be a fun week it's gonna be a, a warm week it's supposed to be pretty warm but it is what it is and we'll survive it whatever we do well guys, I thought I'd just cut in at the end of this video because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, when are the deer hunting videos? When are the deer hunting videos? Well, you guys are in luck. This is the last video before the deer hunting video. Excuse me. Somebody just, <coughs> I'm actually at my parents' house because tomorrow's deer hunting. <coughs> hey, I'm trying to vlog here. You. Anyway, I'm going to go home. One second. Oh, hello. Hello. Your... As I was saying, tomorrow is the first day of deer season, so deer hunting videos start on sunday as long as i don't have any issues with you know the editing and all that fun stuff which at my parents house i might because i had that last year but anyway so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video daisy really does as well what are you barking at so anyway thank you guys so much for watching take care take it easy stay safe be looking for those hunting videos on sunday and of course guys as always ta-ta for now